Namaste YouTube, this is Ambi and we are, today we will talk about another PowerShell topic. Today we will talk about numbers. Power, did I say PowerShell? I'm sorry, JavaScript. JavaScript, okay. Uh, let me go there, REPL.it, JavaScript. Go to this site, mm, REPL.it. Let me show you again, let me do this every time it and you go here select JavaScript it will give you an online IDE you don't have to install anything and you don't have to create an account if you don't want to for our purpose let us use only the console all right so what do we want to do we want to do numbers we're going to talk about numbers let us talk about numbers one plus two I think that's a bit too small. Right, this is enough, I guess. Hope you guys can see it. Uh, let's see, 1 plus 2.1. Fair enough. Basic mathematics. 3 star 2 is multiplication. 3 star double star 2. Where you write 3 star star 3, 3 star star 2, 4 star star 4. 256, right, 6 by divided by 2 is 3, 1 plus 4 plus 2. All right, let's do this. That is 3. Let's see, minus 3, minus 1, minus 3 into minus 2, minus 3. 2 uh, minus 3 into just 2. So minus into minus gives a plus. Basic high school mathematics. Minus into plus gives you minus. 1, 2, 3, E, 5. So what the hell is E here? E stands for extra large numbers. Uh, you can actually do stuff like this. So that works. That's a perfectly valid um, arithmetic in JavaScript. Let me show you another uh, interesting concept here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are 15 nines. I will press the up arrow key, add one more nine, that becomes 10,000. So accuracy is only up to 15, dig uh, 15 digits. So remember that. 0.1 plus 0.2. Second thing to remember is 0.1 plus 0.2. Uh, when you're adding floats, uh, it's not really accurate. There are ways to get around that. But for our beginner uh, concepts, that is beyond uh, limits. Let's say beyond limits. It's very simple, actually. If you can find out, maybe take it out, you know, take that up as an exercise x plus y let's find out what it is so you can do that what if um, x is not an integer what if we define an integer or a number as a string let's say now i will do variable a equals string one variable b equals come on get out of here variable b equals string two a plus b is 12 then uh, x plus a is 1, 1. So anything that you do, uh, plus is used for concatenation for strings. Plus is also used for arithmetic. So if you are using plus with string, then it will concatenate it. You are using plus with numbers, then it will add it. If you are using plus with string and an integer, it will fake it as or the end result will most likely be a string then hexadecimals we can use them too right let's say I will define another variable n is hundred then I will say n to string n dot two string so it converts that into a string. That is all we had for today. Thank you for tuning in. You have a great one. Take care.